Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about how to address strength imbalances. A few days ago, I got a comment, which I've been getting a couple times recently lately. A gentleman can press 16K with his left hand and 24K with his right hand, and he wants to know what he should do about that. Simple answer. Only do what your left side can do in your training program. So if your right side is really strong, as it is with most people, most people are right side dominant or their one, their strong side doesn't have to be right. Their one side is very dominant and very strong in their movement patterns and their strength on the reaction side of their body, as we sometimes call it is not nearly as developed as the dominant side. And that's totally fine when you're young. That is absolutely terrible when you're older. Like I personally am getting older. Strength and balance is a huge problem. Strength and balance will lead to injury in the long run. The sooner you start to balance both sides of your body with both complexity and absolute strength, the better off you will be. Simplest possible answer, whatever you do, with your left side, match it exactly with your right side. If you can do five reps with your left side, but you could do 10 reps with your right side, don't go doing 10 reps with your right side. You're just gonna turn into a lobster. We see this all the time. Tons of people in LA play tennis here in LA. I'm not sure why, I think it's the sun. But tennis players are notoriously one-sided and they have just a massive number of very predictable injuries that happen over and over and over again. Everything from one foot, their right foot turning out if they're right-handed, to their right arm not straightening all the way out, to some weird shoulder problems. And this hand is always hilariously weird because they never do anything with it. They never grab with it. They never generate power. They never, it's all kinds of weird things. So I've trained a lot of people who have these very specific issues where one side is super dominant because of a sport or something like that. Everything you do in training should be equal. Everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. I don't want you to misunderstand my meaning here. I mean everything. Absolutely everything. Whatever you can do on your left side, match it with your right side. And this starts with kettlebells, and then it goes to clubs, and then it goes to mace, and then it goes to throwing pattern. If you're playing baseball with your kids, Throw the baseball X number of times with your right hand and then throw it X number of times with your left hand. I'm super serious about this. It will save your life in the long run. I personally spend an absolute equal amount of time on fighting left and right handed, which is not something a boxing coach will let you do. If you go in, you have a dominant side, the boxing coach will make you do your dominant side unless you're very convincing. Same thing with Krav Maga. They will want you to only train your dominant side. That is great if you have a short period of time to train somebody for a very specific task. It is absolutely awful to push into the 10, 20, 30 year period of time. Circus performers have these same problems. They train all of their tricks on their dominant side and then they'll get in someplace, they'll get into choreography in something and they'll realize that in order to make two tricks go together, they'll have to do the right one into a left-handed one and they've never done it before, and something that they've done a thousand times, suddenly they can't do very well anymore, and that is a problem. We see this in movie training. In movies, you get competition fighters, and they wanna do everything on their good side, and that's great for competition. It's absolutely awful for the camera, because what if the camera has to be on the other side, based on the layout of the room, based on the background, based on whatever has to happen, based on which direction, your actor's face needs to turn so that it's either in camera or your stunt guy so his face is out of camera. You have to be able to do all of these things both sided. In order to address strength and balances, everything should be done both sides. Sword fighting. In sword fighting, it's not just right hand versus right hand. It should be right versus right, left versus left, right versus left, and left versus right. All of these things will add up to making your body more balanced and that balance will allow you to be healthier longer. If you're preparing for a competition or a performance, you might then target it, but you're gonna have to come back at some point and redo all those bad side reps to make sure that you understand everything, that everything is working properly. Address strength and balance, do an equal number on both sides. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.